Hi everyone, it's Artis uh, from Man Carpentry. Today I want to talk to you about levels um, and how important it is actually to get them checked once in a while because um, when we buy stuff, we trust it too much and we rely on it too much to be level and there's a big chance that even when you have bought your level, uh, it's not level. So I thought I will um, share um, with you how I think um, you can check the level to make sure it is level. Uh, there is some margin in it. Um, so if it, there is slight discrepancy, then it should be okay because they got their own tolerances. So, um, but I just thought, you know, I'll share it with you because I have a lot of times I've been, say, fitting kitchens at, and when you put units side by side, you've done like five or six of them, and then you realize that something is out by three mil, and you think, why is that then? And then you start blaming your laser of a level, or you start blaming your cuts, or you start blaming, you know, everything except your actual tool. Because uh, if, you know, being honest, um, your your job will be as good as your tool is. So, you know, I would advise you check it every, say, two to three months, or if you're suspicious that it isn't right. Um, so I've got my level here, um, which I'm gonna demonstrate how I check. So, what you do, you look, you choose flat surface. So you put it to the edge. So you take, well, you clearly can see the bubble slightly out, which actually is handy because if I turn and the other way around, which is how you check the level, you put it other way around and should say the same, which it does. So that shows that this bubble is correct um, so if, for instance, the bubble wouldn't be right, so you would see a reading, I'll lift it up myself, you would see a reading like that, the so one, um, on one side the bubble would be further in or further out, and then when you turn, it's there like that, see, hope it does focus, yeah, so that's how you can check it when it's flat your horizontal level and then vertically you just put it on like so you take it say door line for instance as you can see I've been using in past levels which I thought were level and it's slightly out and actually, that's what made me think. And you can see that that is okay. That bubble's okay. Same as about this one. It's one way. Then spin around. And again, it's the same position. So, and if, for instance, when you spin it around, one way or other, say, this is like that. And then I'll show you how it will look when it's out. So if it's not returning to the same position, the bubble, after you changed angle, so like this, for instance, because it could be like that. And I have had levels which showing like completely different from, you know, first reading. So this will indicate that your level is not level. And that's how you can basically check all the all the levels really um, I have gone through various sets um, of levels in the past I had the cheaper ones I had the bad, bad quality ones so medium range would be Stanley Fat Max um, I haven't had the cheap cheap stabile ones myself but I know people who had them and you know they're usually six foot levels about seven to ten millimeters out on a level and that's what I've you know been noticing in my 
in the past when we go with the straight with accurate level on this on on say you know a wall you can see that it's like the best case scenario is like five six mil on the level out and um, which obviously throws out your uh, linings when you fit the linings door linings and when you do you know everything everything just goes out if one thing is out you know it's a, like a chain reaction so I try to check my levels frequently and there is a way of uh, checking laser level uh, if um, anyone is interested in that I could make a video on that as well and um, just post in the comments and I'll do that because uh, I recently had to change my laser level which was uh, the old model, the Bosch one I used and um, but it was good but then it dropped fell somewhere I can't can't really say where uh, I wasn't sure it had a cracked screen then I checked and it on a three meter length it was out by I think by three and a half or four mil which is too much uh, it could do that on 10 meters I think the accuracy was for it um, so yeah just just keep your heads up and if you want to get a decent standard decent finish then I would suggest you check your tools and check how accurate they are every two or three months if you if you drop it check it straight after to see if it's still level because you might figure it's nothing that millimeter two millimeters um, but to be fair it adds up if you do say if you go to hang uh, ten dollars you'll probably gonna lose on those ten dollars two hours because of taking it on and off to plane it in and that playing out playing it with it just to get it right because you're gonna have to plan in and um, or pack or you know you just you're not gonna be swinging them as you go because if if your level is accurate then what you can do say for instance with the doll landings you put them all level through and then normally the door is pretty much tight so you go gap enough gap for one hinge so you can plane three millimeters off or two millimeters off from one other side without checking if you know that your level is actually level and swing them and you're gonna have nice even three millimeter margin and um, all the way around or you know or near that but that's it depends on the manufacturer again with doors and you know stuff that you're doing but yeah for instance these when I was doing these doors uh, at my house I used a level which wasn't quite level and you know I, I just kept thinking is it my eyes going or something but then uh, you know I didn't check it for a while for a good year and I thought you know maybe I've rushed it and I pushed it myself out out of level but you know I haven't and it was the level's fault actually and um, when you, especially it's annoying when you can't take those doors off and plant them inside you need to take them in and out of the property that's where your time will add up and that's where you're going to be losing money so you know be aware and check your tools and i'll catch up with you later